much for having us. Uh, Kia say hi. Okay, that, that's Kia. I'm not sure if you all can see her. But uh, we've actually come all the way from Bombay just to meet you guys. And I've been told that everybody has a nice big blue heart here. So, uh, two things um, for which I will just take two minutes. Um, I was just like one of you all, okay, on the other side of the blue ribbon. And I used to work in the corporate world before I had Kia. And Kia was diagnosed with something called spinal muscular atrophy, which is a very rare neurogenetic terminal progressive disorder. Okay, it happens in, uh, you know, probably one in 6,000 children in India. And uh, so there, there are a lot of facts, right? So some of the stats is that probably every one in 40 of you are actually carriers of this disease. And if two SMA carriers get married, there's a 25% chance that your child could have this disease. Right, so that's how that's how not rare this disease is, and uh, you know my intention is actually to just ensure that you all don't come on my side of the fence, you know, going forward in your lives. So one small request: I'm not going to talk about too much of SAP awareness, but about the prevention, right? Because this is something that nobody talks about. So there's a very simple blood test or a gene mapping test that can be done by every individual, right? I'm, I'm sure you all have heard of blood test for checking if you're HIV positive or not, right? So everybody's aware of that. But SMA also can be, so if you're a carrier, how do you decide whether your child is going to be born with it? It's a very simple gene mapping test before you plan your family. Okay, so please do go ahead and get that done. Okay, so that you don't land up on my side of the fence, you know, having to give up your job and then caregiving for the rest of your life. It's not an easy one. Because in this disease, the child is actually losing her ability, her physical ability, every single day, you know, and it's it's a fatal disease. So though there are expensive treatments which are coming out, I'm sure you'll have seen crowdfunding campaigns for 16 crore injections and stuff like that. You don't want to be doing that. I've been doing that for the last two years and it's not a happy journey at all. So please promise me, guys, I need a thumbs up. One gene mapping test, please, before you guys have children. Okay, this is... My promise that wherever I go, I'm going to carry this message and I need you guys to promise back. Okay, thank you so much. More from Kia later. This amazingly beautiful kid who's here. So, Veda, I'll give you the mic. Please introduce yourself. but something that comes from my heart. I might have mistakes in my speech, but I hope to share the message properly with all of you. I would like to st start by thanking Mr. Pratap uncle, Vikas uncle, my mom, Shashikant uncle, 21K students, Bri Books, and to all those who are attending this amazing Ranathon. My name is Kia Hatkar. I'm from Vishakapatnam and I've been living in Mumbai for the past two years. I've also spent a few years in Bangalore because of my mom's work here. I am a grade 7 student at 21K. I was born with a rare genetic disorder from 10 months old and it's called spinal muscular atrophy, in short SME. But that's not all about me. I love to write, sing, code, paint, and name it, I think. I love to do everything. Uh, okay, so let's start with the story behind my book, Dancing on My Wheels. Uh, I remember the day when my teacher told me and my class that there's a dance drill in the school, and that day I told my mom that, Ma, today I got to know about a dance drill that I was taking place in school. I really wanted to take part in it. So my mom was like, yes, yeah, you should do it. When my mom spoke to my teacher, the teacher said, I think it would not be in Kia's capability to be able to dance on her wheels. But my mom wasn't a person to give up that easily. We told the teacher that I should at least be given a chance. I mean, 
people like us, we are always told that you can't do things, but people, they don't, they don't understand that at least if we are given a chance, then we can at least show people, like, make us smile on people's face. So that's something. Thank you. The part that really made me upset was that I wondered why it is that if a person is physically incapable of doing something, they are rejected instead of being given a chance. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. From the next day onwards, my mom would come to school every day from work just to motivate me and push me to work and practice for the final day. At last, all the work we put made an impact and I got such amazing comments from other people. Sorry. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. At last we, all the work we put made an impact and I got such amazing comments from people whom I was so happy to be able to prove that. I could do it and so should others like me. People who we are. Who do I represent? Today, not many people from my SMA community could join. So on their behalf, I would like to say, we are not disabled or crippled. We are specially able. Why do I say Thank you. Why do I say this? We too are normal people. We might look physically weak, but mentally, we are just like any of you here. Medical science has progressed, and there are approved treatments available for SMA today. But many of us are having to crack one due to its astronomical price. For the people who want to be successful and achieve something in life, are not waiting to die just because the medicine is out of reach. The way we keep moving forward is by doing what's in our capacity. One of the main things we do to prevent this disease from degenerating is by doing physiotherapy, which is like how all of you did exercise today, which is running. Same way for us, doing exercise helps us slow down the rate at which our muscles, muscles are losing the strength. For me, I have braved this disease by doing rigorous physiotherapy and keeping my immunity up. With that, I would like to end my speech with one of Christopher Reeves' quotes. A hero is an ordinary individual who finds his strengths to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Let's, let's give a big round of applause for Kia Hunter, everyone. Woo! I think in seventh grade, Kia is doing so many amazing things. When I was in seventh grade, I was not even clear that I had to Beyblade and Pokemon. I had those uh, you know, issues in my life. But then, when we look at uh, the amazing talent that's on the stage, not just Kia Hutkar, she definitely is Sabse Hutkar because of all the <laughs> accolades and all the achievements that she has, that she has in her author. And uh, she's doing so many things at such a tender age, which definitely brings from the fact that uh, even uh, not just Kia is doing fabulous in her life, but we also should also give a big round of applause and then we should salute the family who's also supporting day in and day out and are giving the wings to Kia so that she can also fly high.